When a solid moves through space, the region it covers is called the swept volume. Applications of swept volumes range from 3D modeling and sculpting to path planning in robotics. Unfortunately, existing methods to approximate them often fail catastrophically. Methods that exactly compute them are heavily restricted in the set of inputs they accept. We qualitatively match the results of these previous works, while at the same time being much more general. Given an input solid and a trajectory, the output swept volume is the continuous union along the trajectory. With an implicit representation of this solid, getting the implicit representation of the swept volume amounts to a minimization over time. Even for relatively simple shapes and trajectories, this 1D function can be very complex, making a naive exploration of all local minima computationally intractable. Suppose somehow we have found the global optimum for a specific point on our spatial grid. Because of continuity, that point's neighbor's optimal value will be very similar. Using this continuity prior, we devise an algorithm that contours the swept volume zero level set, moving from one neighbor to the next. More than that, thanks to this continuation algorithm, we never even visit the regions of space far from the swept volume, and thus reduce our complexity by one dimension. Our algorithm accepts any input that affords an implicit representation, from a 2D curve, a simple triangle mesh, a neural network reconstruction of a signed distance field, even very complex triangle meshes. We can also sweep the space covered by an articulated rigid body, and even by a point cloud, thanks to the generalized winding number. This generality means that we can use our algorithm for any of the applications traditional to sweat volumes, like 3D sculpting, collision-free path planning, or even to generate artistic motion trails and satisfying animations. Thank you for watching.